Epitaph to a Dog by George Gordon, Lord Byron. Near this spot are deposited the remains of one who possessed beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and all the virtues of man without his vices. This praise, which would be unmeaning flattery if inscribed over human ashes, is but a just tribute to the memory of Boson, a dog, who was born in Newfoundland, May 1803, and died at Newstead, November 18th, 1808. When some proud son of man returns to earth, unknown to glory but upheld by birth, the sculptor's art exhausts the pomp of woe, and storied urns record who rests below. When all is done, upon the tomb is seen not what he was, but what he should have been. But the poor dog, in life the firmest friend, the first to welcome, foremost to defend, whose honest heart is still his master's own, who labors, fights, lives, breathes for him alone, unhonored falls, unnoticed all his worth, denied in heaven the soul he held on earth, while man, a vain insect, hopes to be forgiven, and claims himself a soul exclusive heaven. O man, thou feeble tenant of an hour, debased by slavery, or corrupt by power, who knows thee well, must quit thee with disgust, degraded mass of animated dust. Thy love is lust, thy friendship all a cheat, thy tongue hypocrisy, thy heart deceit. By nature vile, ennobled but by name, each kindred brute might bid thee blush for shame. Ye who behold, perchance, this simple urn, pass on. It honors none you wish to mourn. To mark a friend's remains, these stones arise. I never knew but one, and here he lies.